Hi Jim. I thought I'd put this video together for you since I haven't been able to show you more of the camera stuff with my late nights at work here. And the weather hasn't been great at night either so. Anyways I want to show you how to get to the events inside your camera uh, with the uh, WiseCam app. I'm going to open my WiseCam app just like you can too on your Apple. And in my case it takes me right to the home screen and I can tell it's the home screen if you see by the bottom left here. I'm circling the, uh, the little home button here at the bottom and it, it that's the home screen here and it shows me all the different cameras. Now in my case I have uh, lots of cameras because of work. I have a lot of work cameras, various things going on. So in your case we set up one called the kitchen cam and it was set up to um, show events of the mouse in your case or the rat <laughs> that we're looking at. So I'm just going to show you what that would look like and how to look at the events when the mouse is being recorded at night. So how I do that is so I go to the bottom left here and if you see where the where I'm circling with my finger this is the events tab. So I just click on it and it'll change color and become green. And right now I've got a listing of all the various uh, events that have happened and triggered my cameras. Now an event is basically just like our motion sensor lights outside. Something triggers the light to come on. Well in this case the trigger turns the camera on and records for 12 seconds. And it saves 12 seconds of video to show us, hey this is what triggered the camera to come on. And then from there we can look at the time of this trigger and also the date and then see if we want to look at the feed further. So for example, I want to filter out, uh, you know, I've got a lot of events here as you can see because of work. So I'm going to, up the top here, there's ways to filter. I'm just going to click this and in my case, I'm going to choose one like the barn driveway. I'm just going to show only the barn driveway. So I'm selecting the barn driveway camera and then I'm going to hit the show results button here. And what this is going to do is it's going to only show me events on the barn uh, driveway camera. In your case, it'll probably be kitchen cam. So for example, I can see here just not too long ago, uh, you're coming down probably back from lunch if I was to guess uh, just now uh, to come back to work in the barn. So I'm going to click on this video and have a look at this 12 second event. Here's Jim flying in at Mach 1. Just got the brake on just in time. Looks like there might be some mail there for us. And I think you've gone to you're you're going to work from here, so in the barn. Oh, now uh, I'll see. And here's the video playing again. Now, if I want to, um, you know, look at more video here of what happened after and before this video, I just have to come down here to the playback option at the bottom here, which I'm just kind of sh showing uh, with my finger. I'm dragging in the bottom, kind of right middle of the screen here, and I'm going to hit the playback button. And what it's going to do is it's going to take me right to that point in time on this camera that recorded 12 seconds. So here we go. Here you are. You're coming in. And uh, this screen's slightly different because it has a couple more controls on it. So for example, um, in the middle here it has the date. And then in the, below the uh, video it has this like dial that's kind of like a radio dial. And you remember the old school radio dials where you turn the knob and then, you know, the, the, the stations would go by? I'm basically doing something similar. I'm using my finger here and I'm dragging the time past this red indicator here. So let's go have a look at 11 a.m. here, what was happening on the camera today. It looks like you weren't at the barn. Maybe you were up top having a lunch or, or doing something. But I can see right now at 11 a.m., or 10.58 a.m. if I look at the time here in the bottom right of the corner, there's not much happening here. Let's say I want to go further back. I can go further back and let's say I want to look at uh, 10.30. Oh, looks like here at 10.30 you were in the barn. There's the there's the golf cart. So, so I can, you know, control what I look at by these two things. Here is the time and here is the calendar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the calendar here because I want to pretend I'm looking at... Uh, let's look at... Uh, a different date. Now you see there's different dates here the week in the in the calendar. The dates for the future are grayed out. I can't collect, select those because they're not recorded yet. I'm going to go to Wednesday on the 11th. And now the date should change here as the camera updates uh, the date. Let me see, did I do that right? 11th. Oh, there we go. So there's the 11th and it's taking me to one 
1 uh, p.m. on the 11th. So I'm going to go to maybe, oh, there we go. This is a different time, 11.24 on November 11th, Wednesday. And I, I'm just changing the dial here, and it's changing the time as I scroll through it here, as I move the, the time indicator. Oh, so there we go. There, see, I'm holding the indicator here, and I'm making it work faster so I can see Deanne here coming and going. So it's really neat how I can uh, make the camera play and, and, and look at different times of when things are happening. So there we go. I'm just juggling the camera a bit here. I can see Deanne as I'm just tapping it, just like a radio knob. Remember when you were fine-tuning the old school radio? A little bit left, a little bit right. That's what I'm doing here. So Now if I'm done looking at the feed and I want to look at other events, I'm just going to hit the uh, top here. I'm going to go to the back button. And it takes me to the last event. And I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to go look at another event here. So you can see out throughout the day here, there's different events that have occurred. So I'm going to click on this 8 a.m. one. This is me leaving for work this morning. So this is, once again, a 12-second trigger, that recording of a trigger that triggered the camera. So that's me putting on my brakes as I shift out of park and to drive and drive away. So this is the 12. You can see the 12-second recording. Now let's say I want to see uh, more. Let's say I want to see who's actually driving the car. But I only got recording that starts at 8, it looks like 8.08 a.m. here. So I'm going to come down here again and see that I'm kind of indicating down to the bottom bottom uh, right center here. And it's called hit the playback. This is going to take me right back to 8.08 .08 this morning to start off with. There I'm driving away. So I'm just going to move this little indicator here. And I'm just going to back it up to maybe 8.07. It will show me getting in the car. No, I'm already in the car here. So I'm going to go back a little bit further, 8.05. Oh, it looks like I'm not in there yet. So I'm just going to juggle this a little bit. I'm just tapping it a bit. So wait, no, there we go. Oh, I got in the car very fast today, it seems. So all I'm doing is I'm just juggling this little indicator here of time, and I'm just moving it. Oh, there we go. You can see the door open there at one point. And I'm just touching it, and you can see the time changing as I tap it here a little bit. I'm very light touch on this here. Now, to make this time juggling easier, because you can see I'm having a bit of difficulty here, because the time on this gauge is bigger units, I can actually take my two fingers and 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 make the minutes show up even better. So right now, you see how the time changed from like 10 minute blocks to two minute blocks. So I think at 8.04 is when I came in. You see how it, it, it's sliding through smaller parts of time. So I'm just juggling here and I'm trying to see, there we go, there I am. So I can see how I'm juggling here. I can see when I came down. So it's roughly 8.04. I can tell the exact time here in the bottom right of the corner or what it's showing me. And I'm just going to tap it a little bit, make it go forward a bit more. Just light taps. There I am. So obviously there I am. So I'm walking. You can see me walking here. I'm carrying the uh, coffee that Deanne's made me for lunch or for work today. And the door is opening and I'm getting in. So... And I'm just kind of uh, using two fingers here to kind of zoom in on the video. And I can probably hopefully see that in the my two fingers as I'm now backing out of the video. Okay, so I'm done looking at this. I'm just going to go out of here and go back to the event list. So these are all the events here uh, for Friday. And I want to go look at something Wednesday, let's say. I'm just touching this up here on this calendar up top. And it's showing me the events for Wednesday. So, for example, on Wednesday at 4.10 p.m., it looks like you've come down from up top. Oh, you're leaving in this case. So here you go. You're backing up and you're turning around. And this is 4.10 on uh, Wednesday. You can see the date here in the video. And I'm just kind of trying to scroll it there. So the date's right here. So let's say I want to go back to the live playback to see you, uh, more video than the 12 seconds. Once again, I'm going to come down here. So down to the playback button. The camera is going to uh, load the data up for that time. There we go. We're back to 11:11, uh, 11, 11, 4:10 military time here on the on the um, on the video. So I'm going to I'm going to change this indicator here on the dial and make it zoom in a bit. I said I think 4:10 is when you left. 
So I'm just tapping the slightly tapping here and moving this back. You see if I'm I can put this leave my finger on there and spin spin the wheel like the wheel of fortune here. So uh, we're gonna get to a point here where you're gonna be coming out and leaving. There we go, there you are. So you're getting onto the cart and you're backing up. So I'm just doing this by juggling through. That allows us to, you know, for example, in the, in the situation of the rat uh, videos, when the rat shows up on the video, you can look and see uh, a little bit more of his path when he comes in and in and out of the video, or you can see where he goes after a video. Because 12 seconds sometimes is not enough recording uh, to see what's going on in the whole scheme of things. So, so this is one way to kind of look at an event and then look beyond the 12 second video. So. Once again, I'm just going to do a quick recap. When you open your WiseCam uh, app, you're going to find all your camera listings. You want to come to events. And then right now, I've got it filtered up top here for one camera. I've chosen, in my case, my uh, the, the barn driveway, but in your case, will be kitchen cam. So I just select that, and I show results, and it shows me all of the triggers, everything that's caused the camera to record something. And I come in here and I just choose one. Here it looks like Deanne's coming back and the camera you know, is showing that. And I'm like, I wanna see more than this. I wanna see after she parks the car what she does next. So I'm gonna come down here to this playback on the bottom right center here. And I'm gonna hit it and it's gonna take me right to that point of time. It just takes a second to load up. And once again, you see the indicators here. I got 10, 40 and 11 o'clock in the middle. I can change these to be much uh, easier to move through. Now it says 1056 to 1058 for the same amount of time. So I can move this forward or back in a lot smaller increments. And it's going to show me more than the 12 seconds of the initial event. Hopefully this helps you again. So I'm just going to one last time. Uh, this is the event listing. You can see the events listed here, and this is the home where when you open it, you're usually in here, and you can choose your camera to see the live view. Events is just, once again, recording things that have happened uh, to trigger cameras. So we can do all kinds of different ones for Attic Barn, for example. I'm going to see what I have for, whoops, so I'm showing two cameras here, so I'm going to take that one off. So I've taken, I've only got one checked here. Uh, nothing on the 11th, nothing on the 13th. Oh, here we go. So something here finally happened uh, today in the attic barn. Let me see if I can find other events. Oh, 1018 on Tuesday. Not a lot of events right now going on in the attic. So hopefully the traps are killing the rats and they're not getting up to the attic this year so far. But here we go. Here's from 927 on, uh, it's a little hard to see the date, but it looks like the uh, Monday perhaps. So once again, if I want to come down to live playback, it's going to take me right to that point in time. So, oh, it says there's no playback in this point in time. So I might have gone back further than there's recording. So let me see here. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see right here in the middle. So there's only so much recording space on the camera. And in this case, I've gone I've gone back in time beyond what is recorded on the camera because basically just like the regular cameras, whatever is uh, newest records over oldest. So let's see if we have anything for Tuesday. Oh, there's some green, green in the bar here, so that's good. So on Tuesday at this point, I still have recording. You can probably see uh, in the very back here, um, the light changes a little bit. So I, got, I still have recording a couple days back, so which is good to see sometimes. So once again, uh, events are different than videos in the sense event just is a 12 second clip of what triggered the camera. In this case, it was a sound. And then a video is what's recorded on the camera itself. And you can get there by bringing up an event and then hitting the playback button down here. And it'll take you right to that specific event and allow you to go through the time if it's recorded in the camera. So. All right, hopefully this helps uh, some, and hopefully I'll spend some more time with you tomorrow on this. Thanks, Jim.